Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. Today, we're going to do a playthrough of Until the Bitter End Tanks. And this is the um, tank battle game artwork and game design by Matt White. And um, I did the uh, What's on the Printer with it. And so... I've got a, uh, we're going to do scenario one, which is a firefight with tanks and kind of give you a little rundown here. Um, just like the other game, uh, we have the turn sequence here, six turns for this game. This is map number two. Uh, of course, here's your woods or your trees, which are cover. And then in this game, this is your hill. So you can see the little dash lines all the way around. So this panzer four and this panzer four are actually up on the hill, which means that the trees don't block their line of sight. So they can see into the, they can see over the trees. Of course, that means we can see them also. So, and then there's two uh, panthers down here on the uh, tank counter. Uh, we'll show you like on this panther right here. It's, um, of course, there's the German marking. Let's see if I can get this to clear up. The number on the left, the four, that's his movement. The eight is his, I'm sorry, that's a six. I had to look at it. It's a little blurry. I can't quite get it where I want it to be. Uh, the six is his armor that you have to hit. The nine is his range. And then the two up here is his armor penetration number. So that's how well he can penetrate. The only thing that, um, the only, the only thing I would say about this is the, the artwork is, is great, but for knowing the front from the rear of the tank is very difficult because, um, it, it shows the front here, but sometimes it's at a little bit of an angle. So the way that I've done it, um, in Matt's, in Matt's uh, rules, he actually shows a display and the tanks don't face the hex sides like you normally would. They actually face the line coming out. So front then goes like this. So everything within that and then your side and then your rear does the same thing back here. So that's how you can tell front from side from rear. It's a little counterintuitive at first. You just got to get used to to working with your counters that way probably if the tanks had been drawn top down like i think he does in road in the road chosen that he's going to publish um it makes it a little easier for what's the front what's the back what's the sides but this works i just know that this is the front and these are the sides and the backs where the numbers are and the front is where the name of the tank is and that's the way i'm set up to play it um, I have the Allied tanks, which consists of, excuse me, three Shermans. I'm sorry, two Shermans and two Sherman 76 gun tanks, so the better gun. Uh, that gives them, the 76 millimeter gun gives them a penetration of one, but the uh, 76 is before that had a zero, and I have an M36 Jackson. Uh, which has a penetration of two. So this is actually a tank destroyer there. So I'm going to need them guys. And you got to kind of work your way around and see if you can get some side shots on these tanks. Because you will see there's a lot of armor uh, bullets bounce off tank shells. The other thing that when I did the sample game at the beginning of the tutorial was I constantly was flipping back and forth looking for tables. So... I went ahead and made my own up and, and I posted on Board Game Geek. It's an Excel file. It hasn't probably hasn't gone through their process yet. I just did it uh, a little while ago, but hopefully it'll be in the files under the Until the Bitter End Tanks. Um, so you can find it there. But what I did was I went ahead and listed the um, Solitaire Game Turn Sequence, the AI Armor counter activation steps so there's seven of those the two hit modifiers so they're all there now the penetration modifiers which of course are the front side and rear and then the damage results 
So those are the things that I'm constantly looking at. So I just went ahead and made a, a quick little sheet. Okay, so the setup on this map, um, we got two Panthers and two Panzer IVs, and then the four Sherman tanks and the Jackson. And this is a six turn game. And what we need to do is I need to knock out three of his tanks and he's got to knock out four of mine. Uh, that's the victory condition. So uh, I think with without saying anything else, and I'll just have to move, <clears throat> excuse me, the camera around a little bit as I do things here. And let's get started. I got all the chits in here. So we'll do our first draw because that's the first thing we do is we put this on turn number one and off we go and it is the germans okay so the counter german armor counter activation there's a player armor counter in normal range um where the firing counter can target the rear don't have any of those where they can target the flank or the side so his front <clears throat> runs this way and so all of these tanks except that one is a front shot so he's there but there are trees and that blocks his line of sight so he cannot see him so he doesn't have a flank shot now this guy up on the hill because my front runs out this way right right up here and this way this guy on the hill would have a front shot onto these guys, but this guy would have a flank shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and he's in range. And he actually has the flank shot. So this panther is going to take that shot. Okay. So that's the guy we're going to activate. All right. So that's how we get to that. They use one die. It's just like in the uh, squad game. Um, you have to have a three to hit, uh, three or higher. And then we have our modifiers. So my targets, the target is not hold down, but he is in cover. That's a minus one. And nobody's shaking, no turret jams. It's long range in this game. So the range on this Panzer IV is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a long range shot. It can be longer than this, but up to two times. So he's got the, he can go long range, which is another minus one. So now we're at a minus two modifier. Okay. He's on higher elevation, doesn't help him any. Um, nobody's moving, uh, no burning wrecks, no smoke. We're not adjacent, no special elite. Okay, so it's a minus two die roll. Here we go. And the dice is a two, which is a zero. He missed. Okay, so he fired and missed. Good. <laughs> they survived the first shot. All right, Germans. Okay. So again, there's no Germans with a... F there's... No Germans that can see with a flank shot. He can see, but my front runs this way. So actually, that would be a deflection, a side shot from this tank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm not in cover. He can actually take that shot at that Sherman way out there. So that's what he's going to, he's the guy that's going to do that. Okay, this one. Minus one for long range and no cover this time. So it's minus one and he gets a three, which is a two he missed. Woohoo! All right, surviving. Name of the game, right? Survive. Okay, here comes the Americans. All right, I actually can see this guy, but I'm not sure that that's what I want to do. <laughs> Um, this worries me because that, that armor six, that means I'd have to have six or higher. And I do have a penetration, but if I fire him, I'm going to be sitting there, um, 
range is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a front shot. I don't gain anything there. I have, do have a penetration. You know what? Let's do it. The Sherman's going to fire. He is in cover, so it's minus one to my die roll. So I need a three or higher, and it's minus one. And I get a five, which is a four. Okay, I hit him. Whenever you hit somebody, they become shaken, no matter what. So he gets a shaken modifier put on him. Okay, so I hit him. Now I got to do penetration. His armor is six. That's my 76. So it's a, it's a uh, modifier of one um, right there. So that makes his armor a five or higher. So I got to have a five or higher to hit it. And I got a five. I penetrated. All right. Woo. Now we do damage results. So it's a one through six. Very specific here what's going to happen. And the damage is a four. And a four is the target catches fire and place an on fire. That's this marker. On the armor counter. So he's on fire and he'll have to, there'll be some actions for that at the end of the turn. He's not knocked out. He's still, um, I'll check him, see if he's still capable or not. Hang on. Okay, he's on fire, so he can't perform any action. So right now I've got him disabled. Oh, he can't hurt me. <laughs> that's, that's even better for us. Okay. U.S. or allied. Well, it's U.S. today. I think I'm going to roll this Sherman. His move is four. I got to get him going somewhere here. I don't want him sitting out here on his flank. One, two, three, four. And he's behind those trees. Now he moved, so he gets a moving marker put on him in case somebody fires at him. Okay. Next counter. German. Okay. So he can't do anything. He's the last guy. So he'll get the last German marker. So this one, we are uh, we don't have any targets that he can see. He's not up on the hilltop. So everybody's out of the line of sight. So we can go ahead and scoot down here. He doesn't have a jammed counter on him. He doesn't. So if he's in the open, he would move to cover. But he's in cover. Okay. So he's already in cover. He'll go hull down. So he'll gain a defensive uh, modifier by going hull down. And that's it for him. Okay. Now we're going to start getting some movement here. I think... Um, I think this Sherman will move one, two, three, four. He'll be right there. He did a movement. Can't we get the chip? Okay, next one. Our Americans again. So my tanks platoon starting to move up here now. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. These guys are not in the best spot. <laughs> That's the only problem right now. He's going to move up one hex right there and stop. He's in the cover still, trying to keep him protected anyway. And then the Jackson... He's going to go where? Man, I, it's really risky with this panther down here. Um, don't have a ton of armor. Boy, I could do some damage on him, though. <laughs> He's going to go one, two, three... Four. 
four. He'll be right here. And he took a moving. So we put that on him. And that's last one's the German. He can't do anything because he's on fire. Okay. Once all the chits have been taken from the cup, that turns over. On fire phase, we need to roll for the armor that's on fire. Okay, and so I'll just get this real quick. Um, it's it's a one to four. The armor suffers from fire and gets removed from play, so it destroys it. Five to six. On a uh, five to six, the unit uh, puts the fire out. So we're rolling now for this tank, and it is a five. Dang it. <laughs> they put the fire out. Okay, so whatever caught on fire is out now. Okay, we place all the chits back into the cup. Oops. He's hauled down. He's going to be tough to get. All right. We can take all the movings off now. They all come off. The shakens stay on there, though. So this guy still has that shaking counter on him. So he's going to have, they took a hit and they weren't expecting one that shook the crew up. Okay, so we haven't met the victory, so we go to turn two. As you can see, this is moving fire, moving fire. That's what makes these games kind of fun. Okay, so we got all the chits in there. Here we go. The Germans. Okay. See, my front runs this way, and it really is. He's off to the side. He has a side shot on that Sherman. He doesn't. His front runs right down. Well, he would have one on that Sherman. So he's got a side shot there. He's got a side shot there. Nobody's got a rear shot, so I don't have to worry about that. This guy... My front runs this way he would have he can't see him because he's not on the hill so these guys were all blocked from him and this guy he can see him but it's a front shot front shot front shot so they're all front shots um i don't think I'll get my trusty string out here if i went center to center no he would not be able to see him um Center to center. No, he crosses that tree, so he cannot see this Sherman here. Okay, so I got two guys uh, with side shots. It's uh, this tank firing on this Sherman and this tank firing on that Sherman. So let's roll. We'll go one, two, three for this tank up here, and it is a three. So he's taking the shot on this Sherman right here. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's in normal range now. Okay. Target is not hold down. Target is in cover. That's minus one. And that's the only modifier. So he needs a three and he's minus one. And he gets a two. He missed again. Ah, this, this German's marksmanship is not very good. Luckily for us. Okay, the U.S. Okay, I can fire at him because he's on the hilltop. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have... Which one? I think my 76 gun ought to fire up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're in range. See if I can hit him. He's gonna fire. Okay, target is not hold down. Target is not in cover. He's not shaken, he's not jammed. Nobody's got a long range. He's on higher elevation. The target is, that's minus one. Not moving, nothing's burning. Okay, it's minus one. I get a two, I missed. Okay. Well, 
Nobody's hitting anybody too much. Germans. That's this guy. He's got the side shot at the guy that just fired at him. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's in range. He is in the open. No modifiers. All right, he's got a clean shot at him. And he gets a four. He hits me. So I'm going to take a shake and counter here. For sure. Now we got to do penetration. My armor is a five. This. See, here's my front. Runs out this way and that way. So it's a side shot. Minus one. So that makes that a four. And his penetration with his gun is a one. Three. He needs a three or higher to penetrate. Three. <laughs> he hits me. Okay, here comes the damage. And the damage is a three. The penetrating shell hits the tracks or wheels and the target is immobilized and an immobilized counter is placed on the armor counter. And you know what? I'm going to put stuck on him because he's immobilized. And I got to look. There was one sheet that I did not print off because I didn't think there was anything on there I needed because they some of the counters we've used are from the other game. But he's got him immobilized. Okay. So that's, that guy's got himself in trouble there. Okay, here we go. Germans. Okay, this guy, he can fire. Let's see what, we, what it says here for... He can fire on the flank. This is a front. And that's a front. He can't see him. That's going to be a front on him. He can't see that guy. This guy's hold down. He can't see any of them, so he doesn't even have a shot. So this is the only guy he can fire on him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's normal range. I'm in cover. Minus one. He has to have a three to hit, and he's minus one. Five is a four. He hits him. So this guy becomes shaken. And... They're going to see if he penetrates. My armor is a five. And he has penetration of two. That makes him a three. Three or higher, he penetrates. Three. He hit him. Okay. Now we got to roll for this damage. And it is a three. Same thing. He's stuck. Okay, that's bad. Man, <laughs> the other German. Okay, so he can't do anything. He's hold down. We use smoke. So he pops smoke right there, which makes him harder to hit even more. So he's masking his position altogether. Okay, here we go. He's going to fire at this one. One, two, three, four, five. He's minus one because he's up on the hill. So he rolls a three, which is a two. He misses. Okay. I think... Um, this Jackson is going to move now. One, two, three, four. Moving. Oh, I should have pulled my chit out. I think. No. Okay. There we go. Um, this guy, he can fire. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to fire. He is in cover. He's minus one. And I'm shaking. That's minus two. And I get a three. He misses. Okay. And now I've got this Sherman right here. He's going to move. 
One, two, three, four. He's right here. He was moving. And, whoo! Sorry about that. Drop my counter. Okay. So here we are. End of another turn. Okay. There is nobody on fire, so we don't have anything to do there. So now we put all our chits back into the cup again. Oops, he's still stuck. There and there. And we can take the moving off of these guys because they're done moving. The shaking stay on and the smoke comes off when he gets activated. So it's on there until he gets activated again. All right. Okay, turn three. Quick and right along here. And the first guy up is the Americans this time. All right. Now. I got my Jackson over here. He's firing. Five, six, seven. His range is nine. And the front for him is this way. So I've got a side shot on that Panzer and that's where he's firing. Okay, so he's firing here. It's minus one. For the incline and that's it here we go it's a three which makes it a two he missed man <laughs> man i need them hits they're sitting up there and i can't hit them germans he's got a side shot there he's got a side shot let's see he's sitting here so his he's got a side shot on him that's a front shot on him, or he can take the side shot on him. He's got a side shot. He's got a side shot. These are front shots for the Panther, so he won't have his. So a one, two, three is this guy. It's a one. He's going to take his. He's got a side shot onto this Charmin right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a minus one because he's in cover. And that's it. Minus one. He gets a four, which is a three. That's a hit. He's going to be shaken. Okay. Now we got to roll for penetration. His armor's a five. He has a minus one for the side and a minus one for penetration. So minus two. So that's a three or higher. He penetrates. Four, he penetrates. Okay. Now we got to roll for the damage. Three. Yeah. <laughs> He's stuck. Okay. So I ran out of my little wood chip, so I still got to use my. I still got the paper ones cut out. Okay. So we're having all kinds of trouble here. <laughs> the Germans are hitting me and knocking out my tracks. Okay. Comes the Americans. He's going to roll to see if we can get unstuck. He needs a four or higher. And he rolls a five. He does. That's his action. Okay. So he's not stuck now. So he fixed his track. He's ready to go. Okay. Next. Americans. He's going to fire... One, two, three, four, five. He's firing right here. He needs a 
three higher six that's a hit okay penetration is zero I'm on his front and he's a five or higher to penetrate two bounced off but he gets a shaken marker okay so that'll slow him down so that's it for him Oh, Americans. He's firing at 76. He can't move. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's in the, this tank's front. So he needs a, he's shaking. He needs a three or higher, and he's minus one. Five is a four. He hits him again. He's a penetration of one. And he gets a second shake and counter. His armor is a six, which makes it a five. Five or higher. Oops. Five. Got it. Okay. Damage results. Come on. A two. Penetrating shell jams the target turret. And a target jam counter is put on that tank. So now he's shaken. He can only fire to the front, which unfortunately we're still in his front. <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. Okay. Wow, pulled out all the Americans. Okay, this Sherman has got to do something here. need to get these two guys off of this hill up here. He could fire. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to fire. Minus one. So three or higher. Minus one. one. Oh, guess what? My gun jammed. I missed. And I have a gun jam now. So he can't fire anymore until he clears that jam. Well, this just got ugly, didn't it? Okay, here come the Germans. This guy, we know he can fire. Right here. And he has a side shot down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's firing. He's shaking. That's minus one. He's in cover. That's minus two. He rolls a three. He missed. Okay. So far, so good. This tank can fire. He's got one shot. It's at this guy's front. He has one, two, shaking on him. So I'm in cover, minus one. He has minus two more, and the fire has, he's minus four. The only way he can hit me is if he rolls a six. And he rolled a four. Okay. This guy. Keeps this smoke on there. That's what he's going to do. He's going to pop another smoke and keep his smoke on there. That's the end of turn three. Okay. So we go through. Take off all the chits. We've had lots of uh, ricochets and lots of tanks getting stuck. We go to turn four. We got guys shaking. <laughs> Here we go. The Germans start. Okay, we know he has a side shot. We know he has a side shot. His is a front shot. So we'll roll. One, two, three for this guy. And it is a five. So he's taking his side shot at the Jackson. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's in range. It's minus one for shaking and minus one for cover. Minus two, and he gets a five, which is a three. He gets a hit. So the Jackson gets a shaken marker. Okay, my armor is four. Minus one, which is three, because it's a side shot, and his penetration, so it's a two. 
Two or higher, he penetrates. Oh, yes, baby, he got a one. He did not penetrate. Okay, so he hit me, but he didn't penetrate. Whew. <laughs> oh, my, my, oh, my. Okay, Let's see who's up next. It is, ah, oh, the Germans again. He's firing. He's got a side shot right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because he's straight on. Yep. Seven. He's firing. He's in cover. Minus one. He gets a three, which is a two. He missed. All right. That guy has not hit anything. I've <laughs> been lucky there. Germans again. All right. We know he has a front shot. Right here, he's going to take it. It's minus one. Oh, minus four. He's got to have a six to hit. Whew, it's a four. He missed. Okay. All right. It's going to make it easier for me to do some things without these guys firing at me. Got the last German. He's going to keep the smoke on. Okay. So it's all U.S. now. So he'll fire. He's firing at this tank. Right here. Where do I want to fire at him? Let's see, that's his front. Yeah, I'll fire at this guy because I get a side shot. Minus one, minus two because he's on the hill. Okay, it's minus two. I rolled a one. Oh man, my gun jammed. Ah, man. Okay. I'm going to roll. I need a four higher to remove that gun jam. Six. Cleared my gun. Okay. Got rid of that. Next guy. Here. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll here to see if I clear the... Get him unstuck. A one. I did not. He's still stuck. Okay. This guy is going to try a rally. He's got to have... Oh, he's stuck too. He's going to try to rally, get rid of that shaken marker. He needs a four or higher. Four. Got rid of the shaken marker. Okay. Now I'm just stuck there. This guy is going to fire. He's firing at this one. Five, six, seven. He's uh, he's needs a three or higher, and he's minus two. One. Oh my gosh! Jammed his gun. I'm telling you. Gone now. I've gone to rolling ones. <laughs> okay. End of that turn. We're not getting anywhere, are we? <laughs> no fire markers, so we clear the clear out our markers here. I got guns jammed. I got guys stuck still. We just ain't getting anywhere. He's got guys with smoke shaking. Oh, man, I threw my tank away. <laughs> Grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turn five. There hasn't been a tank destroyed yet. Off either side. And we pull. Hey, we got the first going here. All right. This guy is firing on the Panther. It is a... All he has is stuck. So he needs a three or higher to hit. And he's in cover. Minus one. And he gets a six. That's a hit. Okay. Got penetration is one. And his armor is six, so I need a five or higher to hit. Four. Man. But guess what? He gets another shaken marker. Two. That's three shakens and a turret jam on that guy. If nothing else, I'm gonna he's gotta have a that one lucky shot to hit me. Okay, the Americans. Sorry, knocking my stuff around. He's firing onto this tank. 
And it is one, two, three, four, five. He's in range. He's minus one. He needs a three or higher. Minus one. Oh, got to get it in the dice tower. Hey, another six. It's a hit. All right. Here we go. He's an armor of five. And I have zero penetration. Five or higher. Two. But he's shaking. So that'll keep him from hitting me, maybe. Okay. Okay, here we go. We draw the U.S. All right, I got one more guy. Oh, he's one more guy that can fire. He's firing at this guy. Well, it's a minus one to hit. I rolled a two, so I missed. Okay. Now we're getting down. The Germans are going to start doing something here. Come on. Here they are. One of these two guys is going to fire. We know that. And it is two. That's this one. He's firing here. He is in cover. Minus one. That's it. Three is a two. I'm telling you, that guy can't hit nothing. All right. <laughs> oh. All right, let's um, let's roll here. See if we can unjam this gun. All right, you know what? I need to look and see. I don't think. Let me see something. Repair action. D6. There are no modifiers. Right. Okay. So I just need a four or higher. Unjam my gun. Nope. Stays jammed. Okay. Germans, that's this one. He's firing over there. He's got two shakings on him. Minus two, minus three. Whoops. And it's a four. He misses. Okay. Yep, back in there. German, he's firing. He needs a six to hit. And he gets a three. He missed. All right. We get the... German, he keeps the smoke on. And finally, this guy, he rolls. He needs a four or higher. He got a two. He couldn't clear the gun jam. And that's the end of turn five. So, here we are. Going into turn six. This is it. <laughs> We're down to the last turn. No tanks have been eliminated, which I find that highly unusual. And the first guys, the US, and the first one's gonna fire, I think will be this guy. He's firing at that guy. He needs a three or higher, and he's minus one. He got a five, he hit him, finally. This is our regular Sherman. His armor is five, and it's to the front. So I need five or higher. Five! Penetrated. Come on. Okay, here we go. And we got a three. Knocked his tracks out. He can't move anywhere. He's stuck. And he's shaken also. Stuck and shaken. All right. Okay. Hey, I'll take it. Germans, we know it's one of these two. One, two, three is up here. And it is a five. He's firing over here at the Jackson. Here he goes. He's a minus two, minus three. Five minus three is a two. He missed. Okay. And we get the German. Here's the other one. He's firing at this guy that just fired at him. It's a side shot. Minus one, minus two. And he gets a two. He missed. Okay, he still hasn't hit anything. <laughs> Come on. Germans, that's this guy. He's firing here. He needs a six. Should be pointing down here. This guy, <laughs> he needs a six to hit. 
And he got a two. He missed. Okay. This. All right. I got um. I got this guy firing here. Down here. He's only stuck. He's minus one. And he rolls a four, which is a three. It's a hit. All right. He is a six on his armor. And that's my 76. Got penetration. So it's five or higher to hit. One. He bounced off. Okay. He takes another shaking. As if that would matter. But if he ever goes to clear any of them, that's what he would have to do. All right, I got one more shot. It's this guy. He's firing up on the hill. So it's a minus one. And he rolls a three, that's a miss. And quite honestly, even if they clear their guns, he's not gonna fire it. That's the end of the game. This is a flat out draw. <laughs> no tanks got eliminated. So you can see it's hard. It's hard to hit these Germans like it really was. We had a lot of rounds bounce off of them. And the Germans just weren't accurate with their shots, even though they had the hill position up here. Um, you can see it's very hard to, to try to maneuver and fire, and you're getting shot at. Um, you know, it, it, this is, and, and you got to hope you get your chip pulled if you're going to run up close to them um, and get a shot at them or try to get that flanking shot. So, um, with his tanks being spread out, he was going to get side shots on me all over the place, but I had to get some on him. It just didn't work out. This is a fun little game, right? I can see playing this quite a bit. I like the armor. Um, it's pretty fast. As you can see, I did this whole scenario in, in one video. I know it's probably ran a little longer than, than what we normally do, but I got all six turns in. So um, this is a great little game. Uh, even in my... Um, even in the tutorial scenario that I did, I ended up basically with a draw. We had each of us had one tank eliminated. So uh, it is tough to eliminate a tank uh, unless you do it. You know, if you get that lucky roll there on five or six and you can knock him out or if you catch him on fire and he doesn't, you know, one to four, that tank should have gone up in flames, uh, but it didn't. So, you know, that was a guy who just had to keep pounding on, pounding on. So... He couldn't hit me either. Um, and gun jams, man, all of a sudden I started getting those. So, okay, that concludes this. Um, it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And I uh, hope if you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. See you.